Happy April and welcome to the second quarter of 2018. The first quarter is in the books and it is time to assess where we stand on our goals for the year and to strategize about how we need to keep up with them, catch up or maintain them. For me, April is exciting for three primary reasons. Uh, Number one, I've got Closing Table Mastermind this coming week in San Francisco. I'm super excited to go hang out with some of my friends uh, from the West Coast, from all over the country, some of the top producing brokers or real estate agents in the real estate industry. I've got a couple of meetings set up uh, to plan for a couple of future events, and I've got a very exciting presentation to give. So keep an eye out. I will be producing some videos from San Francisco this coming week. Uh, Number two, in St. Louis, it's really exciting time. Opening day is this coming Thursday, April the 5th, St. Louis Cardinals baseball, baseball season's back. It's exciting times in the city of St. Louis. And number three, next Sunday, all of this happening in the beginning of April, I've got my first marathon, the Go Marathon on April the 8th. So I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of my running friends down in uh, downtown St. Louis next Sunday. And uh, let's make sure we uh, set up a place to meet and uh, pump each other up for whatever it is you, uh, whatever it is distance you're going after next Sunday. Um, and on that note, so in terms of goals, first quarter is behind us. Uh, second quarter is, is upon us. And uh, everybody knows that, that I have a big goal that I set for this year, which is 2,018 miles. So I just want to give you a little update on where I'm at there. Uh, I got sick nine days in in March where I was not able to run uh, due to having a viral infection. And so that has put me roughly 30 miles behind for the month, for my my monthly goal. So uh, annually now, I'm about roughly 22 miles behind because I was eight miles ahead going into this month. So uh, several people have asked me, what are you going to do to overcome it? Are you going to make it all up in April? And the answer is no. If you're behind on your goal, I don't encourage you to kill yourself or burn yourself out in one month to try to uh, catch up to your goals. Uh, In this particular case, obviously, it's an athletic goal I'm running. uh, So my goal is is to chip away. Uh, I'm going to get a few extra miles a week, maybe a few extra miles a month, and I'm going to chip away and catch up. I'm going to try to stay healthy. I'm going to try to stay uninjured uh, because if I overdo it, if you overdo it at whatever it is your goal is, uh, odds are you're going to end up Uh, burning yourself out, in my case, potentially injuring myself. So uh, this, let this be a little bit of most motivation for you. The second quarter is here. It is time to get your ass in gear. If you screwed off in January, February, and March, uh, the second quarter is usually one of the better quarters. Uh, It is a takeoff quarter, and it is going to be that way, not only for hopefully my running, my first marathon, but also in our business. And uh, if you do not have an accountability partner, if you do not have somebody who holds you accountable, who gives, who, who helps motivate you, who, who helps you with a weekly schedule, uh, you need one. And, and I encourage you to reach out to a colleague, uh, your leader, your mentor, and, and, and collaborate to help you achieve your goals. Everybody needs one. I don't care what level you're at. You need to have somebody holding you accountable. So reach out to those people. If you don't have one, feel free to reach out to me. If you're in the real estate or mortgage business, we're happy to help. Uh, Sean and I do a lot of coaching and uh, we're happy to help anybody, whether you're a real estate agent or a mortgage professional, help you with your business. So uh, that is that. I am going to take on the month of April and you should too. And uh, we will talk to you guys very, very soon. I will be talking to you from San Francisco as of tomorrow.